unboxing, lifestyle vlogs, unboxing, and reviews. You in the right place? Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe below because I do post two times a week. That's Sunday and Thursday at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So, 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 if y'all click on today's video, y'all already know I'm coming back with an iPhone case unboxing plus review for my iPhone 15 Pro Max. If y'all do want to get anything in this video, everything will be linked down below in the description box. So if y'all should have anything I just said, go ahead and stay tuned. But before we go ahead and get in to today's video, do not forget to go ahead and give uh, this video a huge thumbs up if it does. Let me know what y'all are interested in this type of content here on my channel. Y'all definitely should see some more in the future. So let's not waste some time and let's go ahead and hop right into today's unboxing. First things first, let's go ahead and put my natural titanium iPhone 15 Pro Max on the scene. And this is gonna be the case that we will be unboxing and reviewing here today. As y'all can see, this is a pretty simple, plain, clear case. Let's get some close-ups of this before we actually take it out of this packaging. So let's get into some of the details. So this is like one of those protective cases, as y'all can see. It say it's uh, a 10 foot drop tested, which I already know. I don't even play those type of games anyway. So yeah, that's that. This is MagSafe compatible, which I'm pretty sure y'all can tell by just that little situation right there. And this will fit the iPhone 15 Plus, the um, 14 Pro Max, and the 14 Plus, and the 15 Pro Max, because I mean, all these cases, is the, all of these phones are really the same size, so you know. They do have this in about three other colors. They got the pink, they got a teal, and then they have like a black one. But I'm like, let me go ahead and get a clear one because I haven't had a clear case like this in a while. I was a little wary at first because y'all know cases like this tend to change colors, but you know, whatever. Let's take a look at the back. Okay. One thing that I hate about some cases, and I'm not gonna say it about this case because I mean I haven't used it yet. They always overestimate how well these cases work, if that makes sense. Oh, it's okay, it will never change colors, it don't scratch, it won't yellow, and then the second you have it for like one week, it's yellowing, scratching, and you don't crack your phone screen. I don't know, I feel like they should not overestimate how well these cases work unless people was actually praising it for that. You know what I'm saying? But. I digress. Let's not waste some time. Let's go ahead and get this out of the packager. the case is looking initially straight out of or straight off of its packaging let's get some close-ups before we go ahead and try it on 100% clear it doesn't have like don't you know how some clear cases have those little dots this does not have that and it does not feel like one of those super thin cases even though it's not a thick case if that makes sense it feels like you know it's kind of bulky, if that makes sense. It's not super thin. So if y'all look for something that's super duper thin, hmm, I would say maybe I should pass on this. Let me move this, cause it's steady focusing on that. Cut out look perfect. Y'all don't mind my nail being chipped. I'm actually gonna go with these done today. Let's go ahead and just try this bad boy on. It's 
super easy to put on by the way so this is what this iPhone case is looking like on my natural titanium iPhone 15 Pro Max I absolutely love cases that showcase the color of your phone it just it just give what it need to you know what I'm saying let's get some more close-ups So it does have a raised lip in the back, even though I'm pretty sure if y'all seen my previous case unboxing videos, y'all would know ever since I bought these lens protectors, I've noticed that they always slightly protrude out the top of most cases. So I'm not going to really ding them for that because I kind of already knew that. Is these cutouts perfect? Why do I feel like it's something missing right here? Am I tripping y'all? I don't think I am. <sighs> these buttons are like jelly-like. They're not hard, even though this is kind of like a, I feel like the case is kind of soft. Like it's not 100% hard. It's like if I took it off, I could bend it side to side. So the, um, the buttons are kind of like soft jelly-like, if that makes sense. And then, you know, obviously access to my action button that I still never, ever, 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 ever use. <laughs> this is how I look from the top. And then let's see. It has a very, very slight raised lip on the front, which I already know if we lay this bad boy flat, we'll be protected. So... My initial thoughts of this case, it's like a pretty simple, basic, clear case, you know, MagSafe compatible. Let's do a quick little drop test. I haven't done one of these in a minute. Well, obviously that wasn't 10 feet, but as y'all can see, the phone is still, I guess, in working order. Now, would I recommend y'all to get this case? If you're looking for something cheap, you know somewhat stylish even though i don't know how stylish this can be when it's just a plain clear case but if y'all looking for something cheap clear i would say yes it's worth it because i mean it's not a whole lot you know what i'm saying it's not a whole lot going on with this case and i can't really say anything negative about it let's look at the side so i think i see some texture it's like that white part on the inside of there if it focus i don't know how well y'all can see it but it's slightly textured which that is something nice I'm liking it so far. I feel like these type of cases be like bridge cases, if that makes sense. I know I'm probably the only person that y'all know to ever see anything like that. And I'm gonna just explain to y'all what this is, what a bridge case is for me. So a bridge case is basically a case that I just use in between cases. So me ordering a case, I'm gonna just put this on into the case that I truly want to get here. I'm not saying I don't want this case, but I'm actually gonna put up a poll later on today for my next Velvet Caviar case purchase. But in the meantime, I will just wear this one. So if y'all do want to go ahead and get this case, it will be linked down below in the description box. I did get this from Walmart, like I said. So if y'all want to use the link down below and purchase it and do an in-store pickup, you can. Or if you don't want to click the link and you want to just go in the store and see it yourself, you can also do that. So yes, I do feel like this is worth the money and I would recommend this. So, with that being said, let's get ready and wrap up today's unboxing and review in the next clip. So, if you made it to the end of today's video, yes, I see you, and yes, I do appreciate you. If y'all want to see more content just like this from me on my channel in the future, y'all know what y'all need to be doing. Yes, I remember y'all at the beginning, but you know, love many y'all. At the end, do not forget to go ahead and give uh, this video a huge thumbs up because it does let me know that y'all are interested in this type of content here on my channel, and y'all definitely trying to see some more. In the future, it will also help push me and my channel to a wider audience so we can hit our next subscriber goal here on YouTube. Also, y'all know the drill, y'all know what's coming next. Do not forget to go ahead and subscribe below because you already know I do post two times a week and I never, ever, 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 ever miss an upload. Yes, y'all can come on. Fact check me on that. But before I let y'all go, I have to let y'all know that I do love and appreciate every single last part here on my channel. Y'all know y'all forever. In my heart. And I will see y'all in my next upload. Bye, y'all.